You might think that using apostrophes is really hard, but there are just two rules you need to know to use them correctly, and we can learn about both of those rules with just one sentence. That's the baby's bottle. Why are the apostrophes there? Let's find out. The first apostrophe is in the word that's. That's means that is. Hmm. The I is missing, but now there's an apostrophe. This tells us our first rule. Apostrophes can replace missing letters. This rule can be found in other major Western languages too, just like in these examples. And we'll give you a few more in English too. Now for rule two. Remember, we have a baby and a bottle. What's that apostrophe doing? Does it match rule one? No, the baby is bottle doesn't sound right. What the apostrophe and S here really do is help answer the question, whose bottle is that? Or said differently, they show that the baby owns or possesses the bottle. Now we have rule two. Apostrophes with an S can show ownership or possession, like in the baby's bottle or these examples. One other important thing about rule two is that if more than one person or thing owns or possesses something, the apostrophe goes after the S. In this picture, there are two parents, and they both have wine. So it is the parents S apostrophe wine. There are two kids who own the toys, so they are the kids S apostrophe toys. And that's it. If you can master just these two rules, you'll always use apostrophes correctly. Tips. Oh, tip, tips, we got the tips.